Hey guys, I'm so sorry for not posting in about six months. Please focus on Okay, there we go. I haven't posted in six months. Um, I hope you guys forgive me. But, um, this channel's gonna have updates. And I'm gonna tell you all the things about the horse, um, horses about this summer. And what I'm gonna be doing, because I have special plans. I hope you guys cannot tell by the background. Because I have some stuff to tell you. And now I'm zoomed out. See, I zoomed in for me. But I have big plans. So one of the big plans is to make this channel just a horse channel. And this needs to zoom on me. Two, I had a nice room makeover. So I might do um, a little tour of that. And it is equestrian themed. And I have a new name for you guys. You guys are going to be the Avery Equestrian Team. So, yeah, now let's get started on my new plans for the horse world. So, I still have Moonlight, my Pinto Paint, Quarter Horse, Hanoverian outside there, outside that window. I'm not going to turn the camera because I already did that and I had to replay it like 15 million times. But, he's out there, trust me. He's eating his hay right now. But, and I'm also been riding Chase, which is a horse that I do not do lessons on, but I do jump him. And also, i am been riding Athena for about six months, a bitch. Um, friends at school probably still know her, and, um, so I'm gonna tell you how I started getting into riding Athena, and special news, and an old news. So, let's get started on what how I've started riding her. So if you don't know, in about the winter time, I started riding Liz. Liz was in a little pony. Um, she was blind in one eye because she had no eye there. And she was really cute pony. She just wasn't fitting with me. I wasn't really learning anything new with her. I had to stay in the lunch line. Um, it was just really, really trashy. So, I mean, I still visit her, but I wouldn't go do lessons on her again. And anyways, I've moved but So, before this all happened, um, 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 before, like, I started riding Athena, that I was riding Liz. So then, um, I've, um, had to go see a horse named Ginger, and I was gonna go ride her. And she ended up, I was going to be riding her with shows this summer. But she ended up having arthritis in her back legs. Um, and because she's very old. And I couldn't ride her for shows because she just wasn't doing her trot right. And her owner said that, um, well, we talked to her owner today. And she said that she just isn't ready for shows no more. She just is too old. Um. So yeah, and then um, the trainer, which is Casey, we boarded my horse there before, and Casey is my trainer actually right now, and um, she let me ride her horse named Liz. She's her personal horse. I think I said this on my musically before, but she's her personal horse, and she only rides her. But I ended up getting to do lessons on her, and I still do lessons to this day on her, and I will never stop doing lessons on her. Um... But we did a show, and it was just a little barn show at a different barn. Um, so we did a show there, and we got a fifth, a fourth, and a third, which is really good for um, our first show together. Um, my cat. There's so many pets. But um, that was my first show ever on her. And I haven't done another show, but good plans today. That was, um, so that was how I got to ride, um, Athena. And that was my old plan, um, well, my old news, but now I have new news. So if you guys, um, don't know the Woodstock Fair, um, it is a fair in Woodstock, um, Connecticut. And I'm going to be showing there. Yippee! I'm going to be showing there. I'm so excited. Um, I've shown there once, but if you cannot see it back there, I have some show clothes to show you guys. 
Um, I'm not 100% sure I'm going to be wearing this stuff. I can change my mind, but I don't have everything in there because some stuff is coming in the mail because I need new stuff. Um, but I'm going to be riding in Woodstock. I will got, um, update you guys on um, what the day is when I'm going to be showing up Woodstock, but I'm going to be Walk Chop, maybe Canter, Equitation. And so yeah, I'm so excited. It is a really big fair. It is the biggest fair in New England. My cat's um, one of the deer um, racks, but who cares? Let's not mind her. Um, it's the biggest fair in New England, and a lot of people go. It's a very atrocious fair, so you have to have a very trained horse there. Um, they accept Western and English people, but I think I'm going to be riding in the all English um, classes. But I can't wait so much. But you have to wear show clothes, like almost every show. But the last show I went to with Athena, um, we didn't have to wear show clothes. We could just wear a polo shirt. But, yeah. So I'm going to be riding in the Woodstock Fair, and I'm very excited. But I'm going to show you, um, I may be riding with this outfit. I don't know. So, of course, I have... My handy dandy Charles Owen JR8 helmet. And the size is 6 and 5 eighths. If you guys have the same head as me. It's so pretty. I love this helmet so much. But yeah. And if I'm wearing my navy show jacket. I'm going to be wearing these DIY show bows. Um, this one's a little bit jank um but yeah i might not wear these i might actually wear my hair up in a dressage bow or i might just leave my hair um in a hairnet but i might be wearing this show jacket which is my newest show jacket and i've never done a show on this yet it is my fair play show jacket but it's for dressage but who cares um it's navy it's really, really pretty. I really like the tail because if you don't want the tail flap, you can zip it up. But yeah. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's seven minutes long. That's a little timey. But I don't know if I mentioned this yet, but I'm going to be doing a DIY room tour. A DIY room tour. Are you kidding me, Avery? A room tour. And it's an equestrian room tour. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Bye.